Welcome back out to the greenhouse everybody. I've already shed my sweatshirt because I've been working inside. I was just out there checking the temperature. It's sitting pretty steady right around 130. We're going to go take a look at that. Now this is day two of our compost heater. We just built this thing and we're going to turn all these systems on. We've shown every little step along the way and now all we have to do is click these systems on at day two. I did not want to run these systems and draw heat from our compost prematurely. I didn't want to disrupt that natural heat building in the compost. I wanted it to get up to temp and we have that large 55 gallon drum that it is absorbing heat into. So I'm guessing that the inside of that pile is probably close to 140, 150. The outside is steaming. So we may end up covering this thing with a tarp. We've gotten a lot of rain lately so if all that sounds interesting please consider subscribing to the channel we welcome aboard everybody who is new thank you very much you guys make this possible and we love to share all of this stuff so let's get right into this video we had to do some troubleshooting on some of our systems back here our solar powered systems excuse my hat hair so one of our solar systems was only feeding energy to its battery. It had a bad battery over the summertime and I didn't catch it. So we ended up getting a new battery, throwing it onto the system, but we never unplugged from the solar panel. So it was still reading that it had an error up and it never lost power. So in order to reset that solar controller and start getting energy drawn from our battery and system to the output, the 12 volt device we're trying to power, either a pump or a fan here so in order to get to that point we had to reset it and the order of operations to put it all back up is once you get everything unplugged plug the battery in plug the solar panel in and then as long as everything's operational and it resets itself properly you can plug in your 12 volt device and operate that so that was just one little thing that i ran into we've had a lot of quirky things with the solar systems over the years but in total i've not had to replace a whole lot of stuff and they have pretty decent longevity so today is just like a test and tune if you've heard that before so we're gonna test this system see what we've got to tweak see what kind of heat we can pull off so this is just the second day that we've had this pile built we're gonna draw some heat from here let's go check out the pile real quick so we're sitting about 75 degrees maybe a little bit more in the greenhouse our little goby thermometer the batteries went kaput on us got a absolute mess of all compost heating related pieces everything we've had over the years all the tools and stuff so once we get all of this operational and it's all just autonomously running we can clean up our greenhouse and then continue working to get everything ready for winter i feel like we're behind but always something to do we've got our little windmill that we want to set up just lots and lots of projects coming down the pipe here so our little solar controller operating properly so just looking down i had got myself a new battery got some better secured brackets actually bolted the power wires in which is a lot better than having these because it's got such a small point of contact with like your little alligator clips and stuff so we've got our fan wired in this is going to produce a lot of heat coming out of here so we're gonna go ahead all I have to do click that switch we don't have any sun right now the sun was kind of just peeking out behind clouds and stuff so oh man that air is really warm coming through there steaming up the camera all that humidity coming through there all the heat and everything that's on the same system that is operating our geothermal and stuff we've got a little solar system underneath there we can operate lots of little fans throughout the whole greenhouse simply off of these i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so we've got hot air i'm gonna grab my oh my gosh that is warm warm air so let's check out the compost so that thing is coming down now but it was sitting right at 130 inside there now that is pretty decent another thermometer here the outside of the pile it's about 68 we're sitting about 53 54 degrees out it's kind of windy and rainy it's not too darn cold today so I figured I could get out here and get some temperature measurements. So this system is basically keeping the greenhouse warm already without even really doing much. So. We're 
we're just gonna hold this on here. It is steaming it up. That is super hot air coming out of that thing. So we're gonna leave that bad boy run for a little bit, and in the meantime, we can go ahead and plug in our water moving system. So there that goes, I can hear the pump. Oh man, we got water already. Let me set the camera up here. See that but we're going from 65 up to 70. So we ended up coming at a max to what's that say 85? 85.7 degrees Fahrenheit coming through here, and I'm sure we could get even more. We're just flowing a lot of water through here. We're overflowing this system, so that is why I say test and tune, because we are flowing a lot. We are flowing much more than we need to to be able to draw that heat, so we're probably sitting about 70 degrees for an average on that, and the temperature of the water down here is about 60 degrees. So here we have both of our systems running, our compost heating water, compost heated air, now that is holding it 82, 83 degrees. Now that is absolutely amazing. We are pulling all the heat. All this work we've done for the past week and a half, getting this pile situated, all of the transfer lines, this thing is just massive massive amount of free energy being harvested all these free resources and a little bit of ingenuity and a little bit of investment all of our parts nothing's leaking everything's nice and solid absolutely warm air this thing feels like a space heater coming through here I'm gonna pull that back out we're gonna go stick this thing back in up top here After a couple minutes it's already back up to 120 something and it's on the way up it's going up to about 130 is where it was sitting a little bit lower in the pile and I could see steam rising off of this thing it's just super hot great energy resource being able to warm my hands up on compost heated air is darn cool it's chilly outside let's close this door I almost forgot to feed the fish while I was out here I heard them splashing over here, so they kind of made me think like, oh man, I forgot to feed them. They're telling me that they're hungry because they saw me walk by. Probably one of our greatest additions to the greenhouse was having a little pond with some life in it. it just makes it so much more entertaining when you're out here. So even with our system pulsing as the way it is, it is putting a lot of heat in this greenhouse. 130 cubic feet per minute. And let's say it loses 25% of that. We're still going to be at about 100-ish cubic feet per minute. That won't take very long to go through the 3,900 cubic feet we have in here. So what would that relate? Every 39 minutes, if this thing was running fully, we could circulate all of the entire air of this greenhouse, I believe. I'll have to check my math on that. This has been a fun project. I'm glad we're completed with it now. Now I can just swap pumps and stuff. The airlines are up. All of our compost heat is set. We're harvesting energy into the greenhouse. Even on a cold rainy day, it's not too bad today, but the temperatures are not getting any warmer. So we've got a few more goodies to go through. I've got some uh, lithium batteries. I, tried to stay away from them, they don't like to be cold very much, so I may build a little insulated box for those. So that's showing 78, just trying to read the little metal bars that are covering it up. So I want to thank everybody for checking this video out. If anybody's got any questions on any of this stuff, definitely drop those to me in the comments below. All of this is just in the true sense of sustainability. Now, we're able to power our greenhouse with energy from the sun, with 
minor investments along the way to put those systems in place. Yes, it does cost some money to do anything or to start up anything, basically. So our investments are recouped very quickly if you compare it to burning gas or compared to using electricity on the grid. So as I sit here and bask in my compost heated air, I just would like to thank everybody for watching all these videos. Hopefully everybody found this little series of compost heating ventures all the little bits to get to where we are today i hope everybody found it interesting and we're not done by any means we have another water line we can power a pump to and pump water down to our pond or something we have a bunch of extra hose and stuff so we've got a lot of experimenting left to do but now that we've got this set up this space heater can really really save this greenhouse it can put a lot of heat in here and with our double layer insulation that heat is well used and it's not just lost on just one layer of poly we have a good six to eight inch air gap of dead air and that allows us to grow throughout the entire winter cumulatively with all of these systems and experiments that we show it's just the final product of all of our build videos up to this point we finally got to just turn things on and push buttons I don't have my water running because like I said, we want to flow about one gallon per minute, not 18 or 11 or whatever we were flowing. That is way too fast. We want to have a nice slow draw through that pile so we can transfer cool to the pile while the pile still absorbs that heat and our 55 gallon drum out there. We got up to about 80 degrees coming out of there or something. And that was darn cool it had like a bubble and then it started to flow like bath water it felt darn warm in my hand so that is the coolest thing ever to experience that you could make a hot tub out of this you could heat a lot of water with this and use it for thermal storage there is so many uses for all of this free energy that anybody could be harvesting so once again i'd like to thank all of you guys thanks to all the new subscribers and i will see you guys in the next video